Fortunately, Mother Nature was very generous when she began dispensing her natural stone gems around the world. That's because early on, the key to building the pyramids and other great early stone structures was based on relative proximity to a ready supply of stone. Every continent was blessed with the gift of stone, some of course more than others, which eventually led natural stone to become the first commodity ever traded by human beings. Italy's gift was marvelous marble and granite quarries, and eventually a workforce of talented craftsmen, which enabled it to become the stone capital of the world. The vast and versatile continent of North America literally received it all, marble, granite, sandstone, limestone, travertine, slate, and other materials. Brazil, Spain, India, Turkey, and China were also tremendous beneficiaries of huge stone deposits. Eventually, thanks to emerging technology, stone would be exported from more than four dozen countries. And there's more undiscovered stone out there. Some continents are richer in some stone types than others. I don't think we really have the knowledge to say that a stone type doesn't exist in a certain part of the world because we've really never prospected in, in some of the countries and looked deep enough below the Earth's surface to find what kind of mineral reserves are there. While the stones being quarried today were created over as many as three and a half billion years, Mulebauer says the Earth is still making stone. If one is in the mountainous regions of New Mexico, you can stand at ponds that are spring-fed and literally watch travertine being formed before your very eyes. So the earth is still making stone. Not only did nature create an abundance of stone, which is distributed geographically, it created a palette of products with a never-ending diversity of colors and enough difference in composition for multiple applications. Stone was the first medium of carving and writing, such as the Ten Commandments. From ancient days, it has been and remains a favorite of artists for creativity and preservation. Some of the great stone projects over history have been a blend of construction materials and sculpture. Marble is, is a material that's always been known for its elegance. It's a decorative material. It, it brings a sophistication to a design just because it is so unique in, in its its structure, its makeup, its, its character. It's also extraordinarily durable. There are many applications where you see marble applications that have, have had people walking over them for, literally for centuries. Granite has been known for its hardness and its incredible palette of colors and patterns. While it has been used extensively for construction since the days of the pyramids, it has only come into its own as a decorative material because of new cutting and fabricating technology. The limestones are actually some of the softest rock types that we use in architectural applications. And historically, some, some of our classical buildings have always had a, an amount of limestone because, of, because it, it lent itself to the decorative and detailed carving. Travertine is a varietal name for a kind of limestone formed under special circumstances. Because of its, its formation, because of its, its redistribution, uh, it offers a much different character than, than limestone. And it has a, a certain beauty because of its bedding, because of the, the layering and the anisotropy in it. Mulebauer explained that sandstone is comprised of one of the hardest materials in abundance, quartz. It eventually became a mainstay in the construction of government buildings. The massiveness of the stone gave you an appeal of permanence that that structure will be there forever. Finally, slate lends itself to applications where the use of thin sheets is desired. It's the only stone that has been used for centuries as roofing material. In the end, Mother Nature provided a wonderful array of raw material and natural stone. Man, with his creativity and ingenuity, found ways to build with it, 
carve it into beautiful sculptures, and turn it into lasting monuments for the departed. Eventually, with the help of modern technology and the fact that it is inherently sustainable because of its proven durability, a huge marketplace for stone as decorative material for the home was created, especially kitchens, baths, stairs, and fireplace surrounds. As man began to build great structures with natural stone, you could see all of the attributes that created and sustained this love affair throughout the ages.